Hey divers, Alec Pierce again here at Alec Pierce Scuba with tech tips, ideas that maybe make your diving a little more enjoyable or maybe safer. Uh, just some ideas I picked up over all my years of scuba diving, sharing them with you. I hope some of them are useful. Apparently some of them are, some divers anyway. Boy, I've had calls from all over the world and I sure appreciate it. Keep those comments coming in. As a matter of fact, this particular tech tip, tech tip, tech tip about uh, keeping your dry suit dry Good idea, right? Uh, comes from one of our one of my viewers. I really appreciate it, and it's a good it's a good uh, suggestion. So I'm going to share some ideas on keeping your dry suit dry. First of all, let me uh, make it very clear: do not use a hair dryer on your dry suit. I know that was in the uh, in the thumbnail. Kevin calls it a thumbnail. Don't use a hair dryer when 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 a dry suit when the seals were made, they're often sealed with heat. If you use a hair dryer, on, anyway, don't use a hair dryer, okay? Just take my word for it. However, how do you keep your dry suit dry? Now, now obviously, we're assuming that your dry suit got wet, um, uh, which happens when you go diving. I hope I don't need to draw a picture for you, but anyway, when you go diving. But very often, in fact, almost invariably, your dry suit gets wet on the inside, too. It can get wet on the inside three ways. Number one, it leaks. Uh, not to happen, but sometimes it does. Neck seal, wrist seal sometimes, or maybe it's defective. Maybe there's a problem with it, so it can leak. Uh, secondly, almost invariably, you get some condensation in the dry suit, a little bit of condensation. Almost impossible to avoid that too, because when you're in a dry suit, you're warm. It's a whole idea. You sweat, the water's cold, condensation, you get wet. So very, very common. And uh, the third way the dry suit gets uh, wet on the inside is when you wash it. <laughs> yes, of course. When you uh, wash the dry suit, which you should do fairly regularly, you should wash the outside to get dirt and grime off of it. If you dive in, uh, in uh, fresh water in North America, then you're bound to get dirt, rust from shipwrecks. You should clean it off regularly. Well, if it gets set right into the nylon, it can be a bit of a problem. So clean it off regularly. Watch your dry suit directions. I personally, I just hang the darn thing up and I spray it with a hose and then I spray some water, some uh, sorry, some soap on it all over. I take a scrub brush and I scrub it all over, particularly the dirty areas. I rinse it out really, really well and let it hang and dry. Very simple. But every once in a while, you have to dry, you have to wash the inside too. Yeah, sorry guys, uh, don't take it personally, but sometimes the inside of the dry suit needs to be washed too. I hope I don't have to explain that, but it does. I mean, there's sweat and, and I hope that's all that's in there, but anyway, it can get a little bit messy and dirty on the inside. So to do that, uh, the easiest, same thing, you just turn it inside out. Now most dry suits you can turn it inside out, no problem. Pull the arms, the legs inside out. Some dry suits, uh, a lot of dry suits, they have molded boots. This particular model I've chosen just for demonstration purposes has socks on it. These are just three millimeter socks. So these socks go inside of a boot. You can use something as simple as a rubber boot. Uh, there is a proper boot made for these. It's a very, very lightweight uh, boot called a Trek boot or dry suit boot. It laces on. It's a great idea. It gives you great traction. Uh, your foot doesn't slip around. It also stops air from going into your foot, which can be a real problem. Uh, so the, those, those lace-on Trek boots are handy, or as some people use a wetsuit boot, a zipper-type wetsuit boot, big enough they can get the foot in, zip it up, and away they go. But this particular dry suit has a, just a neoprene sock. So this dry suit you can turn completely inside out, socks and everything. The, the dry suits that have molded boots on the bottom, very difficult to turn those boots inside out. Um, in fact, I think it's impossible. I don't even try. So you can roll the, the, the dry suit down to the boot inside out and wash the inside once in a while. Same process, get it wet, okay? I spray it with some, some soap, just some mild soap, scrub it all over, particularly those important areas under the arms and those places where it might have a little extra dirt, and then rinse it really, really well. You want to rinse all that soap off of there, rinse it really, really well, and then hang out the dry. Let it dry thoroughly. Turn it right side out, and you're all set to go for another whatever it is, six months or whatever. So that's what you need to do to, to wash the dry suit. Uh, the question from the reader was, how do I dry my dry suit? Ah, good question. How do you dry the dry suit? Obviously, you can't roll it up. If you roll it up, it'll never dry. And if it never gets dry, it'll get smelly, it'll get moldy, and not be very comfortable either. So it's important that you dry the dry suit. How do you do that? Well, drying of the dry suit and storage of the dry suit are sort of combined operations. So there's a variety of ways to do that I've found are effective over the years. First of all, there are commercial uh, uh, items available for dry suits. They are, uh, for instance, here's one right here. This is a kind of a neat device. You see, it's a hook and hangs on a it hangs on a on a on a rail in a closet or the garage or whatever, and it has two slots. What are those for? Well, if you do have a dry suit with the molded boots, this is really very simple. Then the two molded boots, one goes in that slot, 
And one goes in that slot. Hang your dry suit up. That's pretty slick. It won't work for these boots. But if you have molded boots, very common, then one of these dry suit hangers works really, really well. Uh, this, this is a, a, a quality item made by Scuba Pro, in fact. And not terribly expensive, probably about 20 bucks, I'm guessing. Yep. And uh, you should be able to get one of these, and it works really well if you have molded boots. You can hang your dry suit up. Open the zipper. The zipper should always be open on dry suits if it's not being used. That way you don't have the seal being squeezed all the time. Uh, hang it up and let it dry. That works really well. If you don't have one of those, then what you can use is, is at any at, at any hanger, really. But you should always try to make it a wide hanger, you see? Extra wide. Don't use a little thin wooden hanger or a wire hanger. Just use an ordinary hanger, but an extra wide one. Pop it through there and hang it up. Now, you see, the zipper's open. Open it up like this. And over a period of time, it'll dry. And that works pretty well and won't damage the suit. So a dry suit hanger or a wide hanger works really well. For many, many years, <clears throat> many years ago, I had an even simpler device that worked really well. A broomstick handle, <clears throat> which most people have around. Steal one from, from your mom or whatever, and don't tell her. And just put a broomstick handle, tie a, tie a rope to the middle, and boom, look at that. Hey, it looks like a scarecrow. Tie this or make a loop on this, hang it up in the closet. It's even better because, you see, if the broomstick handle goes right out the arm, it, it allows air to come in through the arms, each arm, down through the neck, down through the back, and again, over a period of time, the dry suit will dry really, really well. So those all work well, and they're inexpensive. Let me show you the best. The best dry suit dryer, in my opinion, of course. Uh, and, and this is also very cheap, 20 bucks, roughly, and it works really, really well. Great way to store your dry suit between dives, you know, almost over a period of time. Nothing is better for drying a dry suit than my dry suit hanger. Now, you can't buy this. You can't buy this in the dive store. No dive store sells this dry suit hanger. Alec Pierce, right, let's call it that. The Alec Pierce dry suit dryer. No store uh, uh, um, sells this. You have to make it. Yeah, this is going back to my days in the 60s when we made our own scuba equipment. Do it yourself. DIY was all the rage. Built my own regulators. You can see some of those on my vintage scuba playlist. We, we actually had plans to build the dive toes, underwater dive toes, and camera housing, it was really neat. So going back to those old days, I came up with this really simple, very, very effective, better than all these production uh, systems, uh, and inexpensive uh, system works really, really well. So here's what you do. You go to your local Home Depot, Home Hardware, whatever you have, any home place that sells plumbing fittings. And you're looking for inch and a half, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, or even two inch ABS. This is ABS, it's hard plastic pipes. This is used for drains, plumbing drains, okay? And you need to get probably about 10 feet or so of ABS pipe. You're going to need a couple of 90 degree elbows, okay? You're going to need one T. It's called a T because it looks like a T, okay? And you're going to need one flange. Now the flange <clears throat> looks like this. This is actually for a toilet drain, you see? It's the toilet fat that's on there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Get, get this flange. And there's a necessary insert you need, too. So it looks just like this. And you just cut the pipe. And you take your time. Now, they'll be cutting pipe until you get it all measured out. But approximately four feet of pipe inserted into the flange like this. Now, you see the flange is there. And this has bolt holes. So you should really have this bolted to a hunk of plywood. Get a piece of plywood, maybe 18 inches square, or whatever else you have. Maybe you have a place in the garage where you can bolt it down. It's best to bolt it down somewhere so it doesn't fall over. You'll see in just a minute what I mean. So with this device, you can bolt it down. Now, don't glue the rest onto this. Leave this as a separate item, okay? All right. Oh, oh I forgot to mention. Holes. Look, somebody went and drilled holes in this pipe. God, oh, I, I know what they're for. I'll explain that in a minute. Drill some holes. Good big holes. Those are about three-quarter inch holes in the bottom, okay? Part one. Part two, there you go. There's no instructions with this, guys. You gotta figure it out. So you figure this out, how this works. Okay, here's what I did. So these are about, about three feet long, two pieces, three feet long, 90 degree elbows in the bottom, okay? And then you gotta put the T in the middle. And then this distance in here is not quite 18 inches. Doesn't matter, you know, 16, 18, 21, whatever, okay? Just measure it out, see how much pipe you have, keep it cheap. You should be able to do all this for $25 or a bit of glue. You have to have glue. And there's special glue for ABS. You can't, you can't use ordinary you know, paper glue. Get a little can of ABS glue for your ABS pipe. Ask the plumber at the Home Depot. So you put this together. This is all glued together. So the elbows are glued on, the T is glued on. That's what it looks like. Okay, simple. All right, and how does it go together? Go, go together. <laughs> okay, so that sits on there like that. 
No instructions. You're going to have to guess, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to actually you do it yourself. Okay, figure it out. That's it. Oh, look at more holes. Somebody's going to drill holes in this too. Shut up again. What's happening? Well, this is important. So get your three quarter inch drill, a wing cutter or something, and cut some holes in the top. Drill a couple holes in the top of these tubes as well. Okay, so there it is, all assembled. So uh, what do you, now maybe some of you guys, maybe a few of you engineers, <laughs> have figured this out already. It's really simple. I love this. Okay, so here's what you do. You get your dry suit. <coughs> Here we go. One dry suit. And, and, and you get the dry suit like so. Open zipper. And you put the legs, the two legs, down inside the dry suit. And guess where they go? They go into the legs. Look at that. So stick them down in the legs, like so. And then, once you get them down on the legs, you take the whole darn thing and you flip it up in the air. <coughs> Oops, that's an arm. That's not a leg, Kevin. Give me a hand here. Okay, I got it. I got it. Two legs. Hey, just one second here, guys. Two legs. Is this dry suit got two legs? I think this dry suit's defective, Kevin. <coughs> I should have practiced this a bit more. I feel like a magician up here. Okay, here we are back again. I finished my wrestling match with the uh, dry suit. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you should have seen that. That was pretty cute. But anyway, here's what you do. You get your dry suit, open the top, get the, and, and put the legs in the legs. So you see the legs are in the legs, just like that. Simple enough. And now, flip that whole thing up like so, and, and uh, put, stand it on the stand, just like so. Watch this. You see? <clears throat> that goes on like so. And this is why you, you, you don't uh, want to glue that on permanently, because it'd be even harder to, to manage the whole thing. Well, I'll be able to do this by yourself. It's going to be embarrassing if you have to keep calling your wife to help you dry your dresser. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that, Kevin. Dry your dryer. The flange is fastened to something. It'll actually stand just like this. Look at Now, whether you have molded boots or soft boots, it'll dry. So why the holes? Well, the holes let air go in and circulate through the pipes. So the inside of your feet will dry completely too. It's always the hardest part, get the inside of the feet. And it's hanging here like this, and, and the zipper's open, and everything, and it's just cheap, and it works really, really well. How to dry your dry suit. That's what I use. Works really, really well. I hope you like that, folks. Take a look. Do it yourself. Homemade dry suit dryer. Works really well. I hope that was helpful. A little bit funny, maybe. And keep watching. Talk to you soon. Ali Pierce Tech Tips. Okay. Oh, darn it, one leg there. <coughs> and that, this really is easy. This really is easy, folks.